Hello, uh, I'm Alex from the C Designer, and in this video I suggest to discuss uh, different approaches to creating a strategy map uh, with a presentation software and uh, the pros and the cause of these different approaches. So here is our plan for this video. Uh, we have three parts. In the first part, we'll talk about a very basic text version of a, a strategy map diagram. In the second part, we'll try to make it a little bit more uh, interesting by using some visual elements. And uh, finally, I will also show you how this can be automated with a uh, professional software for strategy scorecards. So uh, let's start with the uh, text version of a strategy map diagram. And uh, you can do it in any uh, presentation software. Like, for example, I'm using Google Slides now, but you can do it in a Keynote on Mac or uh, with a PowerPoint if you're using Windows. So it's really easy. And that's a, a version of a strategy map diagram that uh, you could find in most of the books on the topic. So how to do it? Um, you have some uh, table and uh, you create this table. Normally, you will need five uh, rows and uh, four or five columns and uh, you need to resize them a little bit so in the first uh, row you put goals metric initiatives sometimes you also put here targets and in this column you put the names of the perspectives like finance customer internal and uh, learning growth or innovations okay then in the goals uh, in the goals column, you can use a simple bullet lists to uh, create uh, the goals that you have. I have filled in with some uh, sample goals. And then use uh, the metrics column to uh, explain how you're going to measure these goals, what metrics you're going to use. Uh, and finally, you add some action plans in the initiatives column. Also, if we have a target column, you will uh, be able to add there some numbers for uh, these metrics. So that's the uh, basic and the uh, easiest to create strategy map diagram. Okay, let's discuss its pros and cons. So pros, uh, it's, it's affordable, yeah, because you can create it with any presentation software, with any text editing software. It's easy to set up, yeah. So you don't need to have any special skills. Just create this table, and that's it. But there are some also uh, some cons, and uh, uh, one of the biggest problems with this diagram is that the relationship between these goals is not clear. Yeah. So you can. It's implied that you do these uh, internal goals to achieve this. Uh, goals and you do these goals to achieve customer goals and you do customer goals to achieve finance but it's not clear how exactly this is linked so it's not clear on this simple diagram and imagine if you would have a more uh, detailed strategy map it would be very hard to understand what uh, the goals are and what are the connection between them Another con is that this is actually not a map, it's a kind of text diagram that is not really a visual picture. So again, it's a little bit boring and it hard, it's hard to uh, you know, involve your team, uh, promote your ideas about your strategy, promote your vision using just this uh, basic version of the map. Uh, it's really hard to maintain yeah, because we now have just uh, a few goals, but imagine that you need to add more, you need to add more levels, you need to cascade this, you need to add more metrics, you need to involve more people. Uh, sooner or later, it would be very hard to maintain this, uh, and you will be spending more time on design than on actually doing your job. Yeah, so hard to cascade. So this uh, might be a version for uh, top managers, but when you want to uh, create a local version imagine how hard it will be let's try to improve it so we'll start with the same table but uh, instead of uh, doing it in a text way 
will try to use some graphics. So instead of having the goals uh, in the way of the, instead of using violet list for the goals, we'll use this uh, object, so these rectangles. And actually I can add another one. Okay, so we need to resize the table a little bit, but again, in any presentation software, it's uh, actually easy to do. And now we have solved one of the problem. Now we can explain using the connections between these goals. We can explain the uh, cause and effect logic between this goal. Okay, again, when we have just few goals, it's quite easy to do by just linking these objects. Okay. Another improvement that we can do, we can assign different colors to these goals. Uh, what this color, uh, what these colors mean, uh, it depends on how you prefer to read it. Sometimes you use color to explain the status of the goal, like green that it's okay and red that you need to pay some attention. Or uh, you can use colors to explain that these goals belong to different strategic themes. It's up to you. Okay, it's better now, it's more visual, but let's look at pros and cons again. Pros, uh, we have this map, it's more visual, it's easier to read. Uh, the biggest uh, positive impact is that now team can understand that uh, those goals are connected in some way, that there is some cause and effect connection between them. And uh, some cause, Cons. Uh, so again, this map is hard to modify. So when I had to insert this improved profit goal here, I had to resize this row and I had to move these columns down. I had to insert it here. So imagine that you need to add more modifications. Uh, it's it's hard to it's hard to modify maps like this. Uh, now I have my goals and I it's clear for me the connection between these goals. But I have also here my metrics. And for me, it's not actually clear w which metrics cor corresponds to, to which goal. So let's say have here name is reporting cases, uh, the number of name is reporting cases. And it's not clear if it corresponds here to this goal or here to this goal. Yeah, I can deduce it, it corresponds to this goal, but it's not really visual, it's not really clear. Again, if it's not clear on a small scale, let's imagine what will happen on a larger scale. Okay, so uh, final part three, uh, I'll try to do it faster. Uh, let's use uh, BC Designer software that is a kind of uh, alternative to it in a presentation software. So again, I can start with the uh, blend project, but uh, in the contours from presentation software, I already have here some predefined perspectives, so a little bit easier for me to get started. Then I'm going to use this add button to add goals and perspectives, so it's quite uh, intuitive, visual. You select, you click add, and uh, by doing this you create this structure. And we did it in a kind of text form, but immediately if I switch to strategy map tab, uh, I will see that the software built for me uh, this diagram. And it also, because I was using this template with four perspectives, it added to me some questions here on the left that will help me to come up with new goals. So by now we're on the level of the uh, map that we have discussed in the second part, the visual map. So let's see if we can improve. Uh, by using the same add button, I can add more uh, indicators to the goals. For example, I have better service goal and I have added customer satisfaction indicator. And uh, uh, as long as we're using automation software, it gives me these steps that I can use to introduce some data. I can introduce current value, uh, starting point, my baseline and target. And I can uh, introduce a lot of historical data as well. So this helps to uh, add more data in the software. And again, uh, the indicators that I have entered, they are reflected on the map right now. So for example, I see that uh, below the increased revenue goal, I see the sales growth indicator. 
So for me, it's a big advantage because I, I don't need to guess where the sales growth indicator belongs to, because I know from this map, visually I know that it belongs to this goal. Okay, let's see what we can do else. Uh, we can pick some goal, go to the context tab, and then uh, pick some of the uh, strategic themes, the predefined strategic themes that you can use, or you can customize it according to your needs. And in this way, we can change the colors of these goals. And so this map is easier to read. Uh, below in the legend, I can see uh, that, for example, blue color stands for product leadership. And uh, it helps me to uh, make my strategy map something visual. Okay, let's see what we can do uh, to improve. We can use the link uh, tool in this toolbar to link the goals, what I did. So now the cause and effect logic is clear, like we did on them, uh, the second part. And we can also add some initiatives, but uh, comparing to the presentation software, obviously I have uh, more opportunities to add some more details in, uh, in automation software. So instead of uh, just adding some basic line, I can add some uh, deadlines, I can add some budgets, I can add some detailed description, I can assign person responsible, link some documents. Again, we can all this, uh, we can reproduce this in uh, spreadsheet software or in the presentation software, but we're talking here about saving your time. So uh, now on the map, I see my goals, like better product. Uh, below the goal, I see uh, some indicators, like here, I see customer satisfaction. I also see some leading indicator that comes from the bottom, built in internal knowledge base. And I also see this uh, icon tells me that this one is an initiative. So that's how the software builds a strategy map for me, and it was little bit easier than doing it with a presentation software and better that uh, doing it manually. Now let's see, uh, let's talk about the pros and cons in this case. So pros, uh, the visual map is uh, much better than the text version or much better than the tables that we created in the second part and it's really easy to maintain. Uh, the cause and effect uh, relationship between the goals is clear. And if I need to add something, if I need to add a new goal, add a new indicator, a new initiative, whatever, uh, I just add it and software updates the strategy map for me. So no headache with maintaining, no headache with manual editing and these things. And uh, what is also critical for me uh, is that I can see uh, the relationship between the goals and the initiative and the goals and the metrics. So looking at this map, I know that uh, which goal corresponds to which initiative and uh, what metrics are used to measure the performance and the progress of a certain goal. Uh, if I would need to cascade this map, uh, the software provides me with some uh, tools to link the goals in this scorecard to the goal or indicator in another scorecard. So cascading is also uh, really easy to, so if I need to involve more members of my team, I can do it. And uh, talking about teamwork, obviously because this is a specialized software, I can uh, uh, assign certain access rights to my scorecards, to my KPIs, to uh, the values, to the uh, targets and baselines. I can decide who can edit certain data, who can modify these things. So I have a lot of flexibility in terms of organizing teamwork. Uh, and of course, this is uh, integrated with data. I have not entered data in, in, the, in the software right now, but if I would, uh, the data would appear uh, right here next to the indicator, which is impossible to do with the presentation software. Um, and uh, well, having uh, data linked with the goals is always a good idea because I can always drill down and see uh, what stands behind a uh, certain goal, why it's performing, uh, why it's in the red zone, why it's in the green zone. I can see historical data and these things. Cons. Uh, okay, it's a new software, so if you 
would need to start using it if you would like to involve your team obviously would have to pass certain uh, training but uh, in the case of this software it's actually really easy uh, first of all it's quite intuitive according to what our users say and uh, we also have a lot of training videos that you can check out and no need to to go to them train uh, paid trainings you just uh, set up things uh, try your ideas and if you have some questions you consult with uh, tutorials with some videos that explain how to do things and another disadvantage is that uh, we're talking about commercial software and uh, yeah so as any as any good tool as any good software it has certain uh, usage price that you can consult on our web page but uh, at the same time there is a free plan for small projects so if you are just you know getting started trying some ideas your prototype prototyping some strategy maps then you can do it for free uh, using a free plan that's all that i wanted to share with you uh, thank you for your attention. If you like the video, I would recommend you to follow us on our YouTube channel where you will find some other more specific, more uh, uh, explanatory videos about uh, the bounce crocat topic, the strategy and the KPIs. And obviously, I would suggest you to sign up with a free plan at webbc.com and uh, give uh, this software a try and get your own opinion about how this software uh, compares to the uh, presentation software and uh, probably the next strategy map you will design in BC Designer. Thank you.